Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching those ads. Sorry, the game actually started a little bit sooner than I thought, uh, but you didn't miss much. So, uh, if you just joined us here at the cast, it's the finals for the Elite League. It's a best of five. I'm Rifkin Cast with Namshar, and uh, spawning here in the top right corner of the map, he's down a lot. He's really got to turn it around. This is his last life. It's the Pink Terror player, Keen. In the bottom left of Cloud Kingdom. Oh, this is the first Cloud Kingdom game, I think. It's our red. Terran player playing for Star Tail. It is alive. Yeah, and a uh, small, not even a small, a big shout out goes to Tweed Tweediculous. Tweediculous? That's a ridiculous, Tweediculous name. Um, make sure you guys give him a Tasia clap in chat if you haven't already. He just subbed to the channel uh, during that last game. Thank you very much for that support. But uh, yeah, this might be the first time we're seeing these two go out on Cloud Kingdom, but this is definitely not the first time we've seen Cloud Kingdom today. Oh, uh, oh maybe I forgot. Uh, oh, sure you know what? You didn't see it because, yeah, it was State uh, versus right. Solar, the one you had missed oh, earlier. Okay. Uh, not the All biggest right. deal. Not the biggest deal. But Keen is doing something that is a big deal, and that's going to be Double Racks Reapers. Now, oh. this failed pretty hardcore the last time he did this. But Cloud Kingdom's a map where there's so many ways into the base. Like, the same reasons Blink Stalkers are really good on this map is the same reason Reapers might not be too bad. Alive is fully aware that this could be a threat, though. I love the de the depot positioning. Like, there's no Reapers that jump up here, but it's it's still vision that you otherwise don't have. Yeah. Can, can the Reapers even jump up where that depot is, though? No, no. Like, I, no, not at all. Yeah. Uh, the minerals yeah. it out. But it's still, but, like, vision that you... I, I, I kind of wish actually was more northwards, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> still, vision but, is good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, vision but he scouts is. it. He sees the second Rax. Alive now knows what's up. Uh, yeah, so very, very good SCV scout there. Sees everything, so... Yeah, so we see, did see Keen do this on Shakur Plateau versus... Yeah, I'm brain farting too. Let's talk about why this is going to be good though. Because, well, yeah. well actually, oh, I don't like this. The same reasons like why this shouldn't work. Okay, so he moves the Marines in position. Keep in mind, guys, this whole area here, you can't actually jump reapers. You have to either go up the, one of these two ramps. Um, yeah. So Elias trying to predict positioning. I was going to say, one of the good things about this is it means he doesn't get caught up with the reactor. He doesn't play super greedy. And uh, I guess like he'll rush out a Hellion, maybe two. But I thought he would continue Marine production. Mm -hmm. You yeah, want, you want though, actually. Like Hang greens. on. Oh, I didn't consider this. I think with the reactor coming down, that was just a live, like, calling Keen's bluff. Like, he knows there's still the threat of Reaper, so yeah. he pre-pulls some SCVs. This is kind of cool and all. But he knew that being scouted, he probably wouldn't dedicate too much into this. So he just calmly takes, a, you know, the Hellions behind this. He calmly gets that reactor down. He, he goes towards that 1-1 opener. Yeah, and it, it is kind of true as well. He only made three Reapers, right? So, yeah, not a massive dedication. Oh, oh my God, the Hellion would be nice, but doesn't quite get it. Oh, he might give it away. Wait, what are you doing? Alive? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, he no, <laughs> he's gonna go back. No. <laughs> you couldn't keep that Hellion alive if, you, if your life depended on it, man. Like. <laughs> it almost looked like he forgot that the Hellion was actually low. He's like, oh, yeah, I can get Cash Reaper. It's like, oh, wait a second. It's actually yeah. about to die. <laughs> I mean, one one hell going down is not the biggest deal in the world, but uh, this bunker is going to be annoying. He's actually going to have to walk past this. Uh, he's going to go for that actually. one on one. Mm -hmm. Keen starting his selling production starts the start port. And Medivac out for alive now. Starts a tech lab on the start port. So it looks like he's going to be transitioning into Banshees. And Reapers coming in will scout this. So the good scout, but. Ooh, has to be careful not to lose. That was close. An interesting bunker. It's kind of kind of cute. I mean, it's a good way to deny someone taking a natural on location, but you know, it's yeah. tearing, you just build the main, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> but this drop coming across the map, six Marines heavy. There are, actually, this is going to do no damage. Yeah. <laughs> All the units in I position forgot. for Keen. We're casting Keen. He's really good at having shit in his main. Yeah, right? man. Like, oh, the... This is like his thing. <laughs> yeah, it's. That's something that really stood out for me in the series earlier. It's really good defense, like, all across the board on all the bases, really. Always units in. Uh, in great positions to deal with it. And actually with the uh, wall up at the front, these ceilings can't run in either. Oftentimes we try to put the deepest well, down, oh, so maybe he's will anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. Stays on it, like, try to race it. I kind of wish, like, uh, yeah, it, you need to be able to upgrade. Okay, here's what I think, right? Like, upgrade <laughs> depots Here with, like, um, condenser coils or something that sounds cool. So that, like, they could spring up and, like, just launch anything on top of them off. <laughs> just fling oh, them around, like, no. any which way, you know? 
Yes, great suggestion, Rifkin. <laughs> I would be the best, like, David Kim, oh wow, yeah, she's killing the bunker, not cancel. David Kim should hire me to be his understudy. I'm just saying, like, I have the best balance ideas, period. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, Banshee coming uh, in for a live now, going towards the natural, but... There's actually nothing there, so I won't really be able to do much. And there's a Raven coming out for Keen. There's one Viking as well, so this Banshee won't really accomplish, or shouldn't accomplish much at all. He does cloak up, but yeah, the Raven's out, the Viking's out. Maybe he can get the SUV building the command center? No? Is he even paying attention? He starts paying attention now. <laughs> just, like, just sends the Banshee, forgets about it, like writes it off. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a Banshee this game. Shoot. Uh, I'll drop at the same time, yeah, Marines in position as to be expected off Keen. Shuts this down, no problem, gets one marine. No, seriously, like, with how down he is in the series, like, it kind of sucks to say I really don't think this has been a great representation of Keen's TVT so far. We got to see a really good one earlier for center, of course, but, yeah, I mean, you bring it up and I will reiterate it. Like, the fact that he's always got stuff in the main, this is such a big deal. It doesn't seem like it should be, but, I mean, whether it's four marines, 20 marines, like, Keen has never really taken that much damage from drops. Even from, like, what was that really, like, 13 full medevac doom drop? Like, that wasn't yeah. even that big of a deal. And, I mean, not even just in the main either. I mean, it's something that really stood out for me watching him play TMNT, and it was really inspiring for me because I play a bit of Terran sometimes, and, you know, stuff like drops in the main and stuff can be a big problem. But even, like, at the third base, I remember on that game on Daybreak, he'd have, like, a bunker and siege tank, even though he's being super aggressive. Always a bit in the main, always like a bunker at the third with a tank, just really like airproof, like all over the place. So he's been <laughs> airproof. <laughs> well, I don't like it. It's just uh, yeah, really solid defense overhaul by <laughs> by Keen. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we do have a live going to mech this game. Uh, kind of a cool, kind of a cool change to things. Yeah, uh, that is interesting. I did not expect that at all, actually. Well, the reason I like this actually is because of the same reasons we were just praising Keen. Like one of the biggest things is okay, you get like this crazy anti-drop coverage. Keen is so good at defending against it. So what do you do? You right. go for a style that has no drops whatsoever. You just like yeah. this brute force mech move. Yeah, it actually makes sense. It's a good mind game as well, right? Because he's been playing bio like every game so far. So it's. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. I wonder too. There, there is a certain extent that where you wonder, like, are these guys hiding into their builds? Like, is there, like, is there any competition coming up for the Hot Six Cup? Like, that's going to be a big deal in Korea. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I doubt it. We, we always talk about this, and as it turns out, a lot of the time, players always tell me, like, "Oh no, I was just playing. I want to win. I'm competitive. Whatever." But um, there yeah. are some players out there who are like uh, the Axiom players have been very actively trying to not reveal their builds. They don't want people yeah. to know what's going on. Like, they want to improve their chances every bit of the way. Yeah, makes makes sense. Well, interesting drop here by a live just as he moves out. Yeah, oh, actually. six snipe on the command center SCV. Yeah. Actually, floats it as a full on cancel. Uh, shout out to McKean's building locations, by the way. Like, he's so anti tank drop. Like, like, like the, what he did on Akalon Waste is what he's trying to avoid here in Cloud Kingdom. But oh man, both armies passing each other in the middle of the map. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, Mech does not outrace Bio, but it will demolish this army. These marines are going to melt so quickly and two yeah, tanks I mean, can't deal with these aliens. King just doesn't know he's playing me. He probably knows now, seeing the uh, barracks starting about. But yeah, blue flame out, Liam versus marines with no combat. Oh, they're oh just like, God. screw it, dives on top of the tanks. Oh. That's splash damage, no matter how you oh, look at it. Lag. Oh, Well, okay. auto trades actually buy some time here. Uh, Wait, I didn't see any lag there. Are you lagging? Okay. Well, I, I just, it just spiked to me during the engagement. I don't know. I don't no. feel like I was again. I don't know. Yo, smooth sailing here on my end. I run All right, okay, enough, okay, but, cool. Um, cool. Those Hellions get cleaned up really quick because what oh. they did was they sat there and attacked. Like, with Blue Flame Hellions, you have to hit and run. Like, there's no question yeah. about it. Like, Marine damage is better sustained. Hellion damage is better burst. So you have to uh, sort of hit and run. He's not going to be able to do it, though. GG is called. And Keen brings the series back, or starts to, rather. 2-1 instead of a 3-0. Yeah, that was, 